yo, I got a name for the show. We're calling it The Couch. Welcome to the second episode, but first episode of The Couch. Yeah, I was stretch last time. He said I should not call him friend. And the same would go for this brother I have here. <laughs> I'm with my brother here, Mr. Kabokazi. Welcome, 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 brah. Po, 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 po. <laughs> Thanks. Po, 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 po. thanks, 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 mate. I can see all on the things like me. What's up? What's up with that? Um, I know, I don't think it's style. I think this is all that God gave me. So, what do you mean? You don't get side bed? No, I don't, I don't get anything, Actually, even underneath here. I don't get anything. You just get that, yeah. This is the week, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy, the man. Because look now, I got a little bit of patches. I'm trying to get that full. <laughs> Thing, but hey, I don't know if you'll <laughs> ever come. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we share a mutual friend, Kingsley, because Kingsley and he's got that. Yeah, fool. yeah. He's got yeah. that fool. We share a brother. <laughs> a mutual we brother. Yes, yeah. it's okay. I'll be mutual in trouble. We yeah. we share a mutual brother. Yeah. Yeah. He's got that fool thing, and he said, "No, one day it'll come. One day it'll come. I'm hoping for that one day." Yeah. Yeah. So some it's people it. don't know. Some people know. Me and you were former teammates, group mates, still. Yeah. Still working together, still, still doing a whole lot of stuff. To, eh, yeah. Still doing a whole lot of stuff together, but you know, we haven't seen you in the public eye or in the f- social media sphere in a long time, man. In a long, long time, you're gonna talk about uh, a little bit about that. Uh, yeah. um, but I just want to start to you from fresh, fresh, because a lot of people know you, but people don't know. Um, where you come from what's that about like they don't really know like your origins yeah i want i want you to just share some of your origins man so yeah man where were you born what's happening man okay oh, okay um thanks for having me bro thank you it's, it's an honor it's, it's a great privilege for having me in your i don't know what you call this couch? <laughs> podcast couch in your couch on your channel you know on your channel you yeah know. Yeah, I, I would like to say you have an amazing space. This is a great space. Thanks, you have an man. amazing space. Thanks, man. Um, yeah, so it's an honor to be here. Sure, man. Um, my name's Kabo Katze, born in Athlon Hospital, August 19. Wow. Um, 19-something. 19-something, <laughs> yeah. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 19-something. Um, Athlon, that's, that's Lobatze. Lobatze. Oh, right. yeah. uh, I was born, I was raised in Lobatse in the township of Wood Hollow Wine. Come on now. Wood Hollow Wine. I think at some point I've stayed in Peeling, you know, but my base has always been Wood Hollow Wine. Sure. And I went to a primary school called Botaka Primary School. Okay. Yeah, standard one to standard two. Yeah. You know, and then I left to stay in Kokwing, Kokwing, right. which is my home village. Okay. That's where the cats say. Okay. Um, same name is from yeah, linkage yeah. there. Yeah, the linkage. yeah, yeah, I mean, my cousin got me to World War One, but it wasn't for some good stuff. Like, <laughs> they, they, there's some stuff there, there's some connects he has there. He got me there. It wasn't like we won't talk about that, but yeah, no, that's, yeah. A, that's a crazy hood. That's a crazy hood. I think that's why I resonate more with Bopantola or Bokasi and yeah. all that because that's where, where, where I got those styles from, sure. you know, yeah, so. Now you know. Okay. Now you know. <laughs> so, Klokweng. Yeah, Klokweng. Klokweng is my home village. Yeah. So after, I think after some some years of staying in in Dobatse, I think my mom decided that we go back home. Okay. You know, okay. So okay. we can just start oh. a fresh couple of stuff. Uh, you know, go back yeah. to family. Yeah. And yeah. 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 You got you who you got siblings. Yeah, I have one. Okay, I have one sister. Uh huh. And one brother. And one brother. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. One is maternal, one is paternal. Okay. You know, from my mom's. Okay. And from my dad, my dad's side is yeah. a brother, younger yeah. brother. Yeah. From my mom's side is a younger sister. Okay. So I'm the, the older guy. You're the older guy. You're yeah, the so responsible guy. Yeah, I'm the guy. responsible guy. I'm the breadwinner. You know, I have all <laughs> those responsibilities. Yeah, right. man. But growing yeah. up, um, you 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 didn't have a very, um, what can we say, responsible. <laughs> past i yeah. mean you want to talk about a little bit about that kind of know little pantula street street yeah oh, slim man <laughs> you know just like any other naughty kid who mm-hmm. grew up from the dusty strips of feeling and wood hollow one 
Uh. You know, I yeah, I love I live the crazy lifestyles of of drugs, you know, the Zolonya and Kwai and all that. Sure. Um I think I had what, that what age was that? Um I think all the bad habits started when I was in my late primary school days. Okay, that's yeah, cause of yeah, yeah, 12, 11, doing 12. standard seven. Yeah. yeah, I think also the influence that I got from my cousin who I was staying with back then. You yeah, know? so we used to. Yeah, by then I was staying in Kokwe. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So he was an older guy, mm. so he was more like a role model to me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so we, we used to do crazy stuff. Yeah. Like, um, that's how I learned stealing, yeah. pickpocketing, sure. and all that. Yeah. I, I know my relatives know. Yeah. You know, most of my relatives that I've stayed with, and I think many of them, I, I just owe them a visit just to go and just apologize, apologize. for what I've done sure. to them. Because I used to, to steal like yeah. crazy. You know, I think even after i gave my love to christ later yeah. you know uh. some of them were still skeptical mm. <laughs> this guy this guy so you know i have a crazy past yeah you, know, you told me you told me about your uncle or you yeah. uh, you gonna <clears throat> use the your uncle you used to steal from yeah uncle. you i think i think yeah there's an uncle big shout out to uncle Tepo. <laughs> i had to name drop this one because he played a crazy role in my life yeah you know yeah. he's one guy who who saw the best in me mm -hmm. when everyone else saw the worst in me yo okay. you know so this is one guy who who prophesied life okay you know this is one guy who saw great the uh. great that i'll be Snap, even man. in the future this is the one guy mm -hmm. who prophesied my future yeah this is the guy who prophesied even my late 50s, my late 40s. Yeah. You know, even yeah. right now, I still live So with as he was prophesying, you yeah. were stealing from him. As <laughs> he was prophesying, as he called me every Sunday morning, mm. this guy used to pick me from my house. In fact, we are staying just in the same yard, but just yeah. different houses. Yeah. He used to pick me, drop me off mm. for Sunday school. Yeah. While he wants to um, maybe... Um, teach the sinners in the school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like this, is the guy who used to, yeah. you know, sometimes I'll go mm. on my hiding spaces or yeah. places, but he yeah. used to come up to me. Yeah, yeah and yeah. he used to speak life. Yeah. But I stole very, very expensive stuff from from the guy. I remember, um, his mom went to Canada, brought very, very expensive cameras and yeah. all that. But there was a way I used to break in that house yeah. that. You know, it was known by me. Yeah. You know, yeah. and I used to lie because it was it was it was crazy for a young kid in a primary school to open that house. Yeah. So I used to lie that someone else opened for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas it was me. It was you. Yeah. Because I yeah. What so what were you stole it, then what do you do? You sell it? What do you do? Yeah, I used to just uh, you know, even though they uh, I even though they, they really did a lot for us you know yeah. they took care of us you know yeah. but as a kid mm. sometimes it's like you never have enough especially when you come from the township yeah background when your mindset is still yeah. this rural mindset poverty mindset yeah yeah, yeah. you know even you though you feel like everybody owes you e exactly yeah, even yeah, yeah. though these people are doing a lot to take care of you yeah you still feel like I still gotta have something. Yeah. You know, so I used to sell cameras. Uh. I used to sell expensive disc men. You remember yeah. disc men? Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, for a very, very cheap price. Sure. You know, so so that I can be looked as the cool kid yeah. at school. You so know, I remember one day I went with a disc man to school playing uh. some gospel hip hop uh. stuff, uh. you know. Uh. You know. Uh, by then I was I wasn't born again, but he used to listen to Bo T Bone. Yeah yeah, 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 guys like Bo T Bone. T Bone's and all old yeah, school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. T, -Bone. T Bone's one of the yeah the, the Godfathers. Yeah, Godfathers. Yeah, it's crazy that maybe the music that yeah. I listen to, yeah. that music that I listen from the stolen disc man, uh. I think it planted a seed. Dude, I don't even. In that's me. crazy. Yeah, because I've never shared this story with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I used to listen. Because I. I 
Yeah, even after I gave my love to Christ, I wasn't listening to Boti Boom because yeah. I was introduced to the One One Six guys yeah. and all that. So yeah. Booms, yeah. I, I don't, I don't, I didn't really know more about it. Yeah, guys. that's crazy, yeah. man. That's it's also crazy because that's the only CD you kind of had. I can't use yeah. the whole because yeah. <laughs> that's the only CD that was inside. Yeah. 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 Oh, snap. <clears throat> okay, so cool. You this naughty guy. Um, you told me some stories about going to Fresh's Book or UB with a bunch of guys and just stealing from guys. And yeah, that was. I'm not, I'm not trying to put the records she, out. She, I'm she, not she, trying she. to open your cases. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I feel like, you know, yeah. sometimes, not that we all people our past, but yeah. this will be a testimony to, to someone out there who's still struggling and who feel like um, their lives can be changed. Yeah. yeah you yeah. know, I think on my late prayer, late junior yeah yeah late junior you know um that was when i was doing form three yeah yeah we used to go to almost every festival out there yeah you know th- by then there was this club also called ozone yeah 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 remember, ozone remember, by yeah. Rock yeah yeah and look way yeah there was Snap. lizard lounge yeah yeah you yeah. know there was this time where there was born Freshers ball, there was booster bashes yeah. that were happening. Go yeah. Lion Park. I remember that. Yeah, so you guys would be outside. Yeah, outside, in and outside. In and outside. In so. and outside. So you we w- we would have guys in the inside uh-huh. doing the job in the inside, yeah, and yeah. also guys doing the job in the outside. Yeah. So um, on that day, to depend where the assignment is. Yeah. Yeah. So you s- find somebody, a little one, and you steal from them, or Couple you pickpocket. Pickpocket, bro. Pickpocket. Kn- knife point. Yeah, of course you have That's to have point. some okay. some defense. Okay. You know, okay. even Kwa River Walk where there used yeah. to be break dance yeah. um challenges that used to happen. Yeah. You yeah. know, where the guys who used to stir and run into the North Wanya River. Yeah. Oh yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so, so there were bushes so, there. Yeah, so you should grab Grab and run. And run. Yeah, grab and okay. run. Okay. So yeah. did you give it to the guy who can sprint or did you make <coughs> sure you everyone has to make sure they sprint? You know, because sometimes it will happen that that's a win-win situation. Sometimes you will win and not tell the guys oh, that okay. you have won because okay. you won hundred percent share. Oh, okay. Yeah. So let's just say you steal three phones, you t- say I stole one. Yeah. Then you split on that one. Exactly. Then the two you can you keep. Keep. It. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, and ish, bro. In- <laughs> yeah. I think someone, <laughs> you know, those people are with the, if you lost your phone and it was me, yo, that's my past, you know, for, just find it, find it in your heart to, to forgive me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll go, we'll go, yeah. we'll go deep into that a little yeah, bit, but deep. I just want to know like, yo, man, then. And by the way, my family didn't really know more about this. Yeah. I think they just knew that I was the, the guy who was stealing for the family. Yeah. They didn't really know that. It went to that extent, but I think that one uncle of mine, yeah, I think he knew. He, yeah, and in doing all this, bro, I, I think one person that I didn't want to break her heart was my mom. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I was always hiding all this. Yeah. From yeah. my mom and also my, yeah. my not my grandmother per se, but it was my mom's aunt that you called, yeah. Granny. That's yeah. uncle's yeah, yeah. Aunt's mom. Mom. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was so she was in that. I remember yeah. the house. That yeah. was like the uh-huh. main house. That's the and main you guys house. were on the yeah. other side. Yeah, yeah. I remember that's, that for that's, sure. For sure. Uh, you know, yeah. him and uncle, they really contributed a lot. I've met him in before. In my, my spiritual journey. I've yeah, met you've met him before. Met before. Was, Such an amazing was, lady. Yeah, it was a good connection. I met, I met, I'm, I'm, it was a really <coughs> good connection. Really I nice meeting. Actually, well. yeah. I actually all had a visit. Yeah. You know, Please do, man. Visit this people. Most definitely, I'll visit this people. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, because sometimes I bump into uncle yeah. around town. I'm like, yo, <laughs> uncle, I'll definitely check your point. He's like, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. There's no condemnation, Cabo. Whenever you are ready to come through, just feel free to come. It's Sure, man. Yeah. Oh, so then now, how, how Jesus, man? How, like, how you become Christian? Because, like, how does that, how does that flip around? So my primary, school, my junior school. By yeah. the way, primary I went to Botswana. Yeah. Um, that that's in Kokwing. I also went to Matlala. Yeah. That was in Kokwing. Yeah. So in Matlala, I was just not a kid. Yeah. Who had. A form of godliness because yeah. of the a form of godliness yeah, yeah, yeah. because of the spiritual um 
journey that I was going through. Yeah. You know, that was forced to go through. Oh, forced to go, go yeah, through. Yeah, just yeah, like me. Just forced <laughs> that, to go that through. That is seven to me. <laughs> but, but my uncle and my, my granny. Yeah. So I was this kid who who had that form of goldenness, but yeah, denying the power therefore. So I think when I went to Jesus, yo, I got introduced to just crazy culture. That's mm. why, because at junior school, I used to rap. Yeah. You know, I used to rap, you know, I used to rap. And, but when I go to Jesus, now it was a different culture. Because yeah, yeah. Um, that's when I got introduced to like heavy punches or motswako. Yeah, okay. You know, that's when I got introduced to Chocolate. guys like yeah. Drama Boy, yeah, may, yeah. may his soul rest in peace. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. He, was, he was a year ahead of you? No, same year. He was in the same year yeah, as you? Same year. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. But he was in school A, I was in school B. Okay, you were in school B. Okay. So, but there was always that break time between the yeah yeah the the, the school A closure and the school. opening, you know. So cool. there used to be some battler raps in yeah, yeah. that time. Oh, Guys snap. from All school right. B and yeah. school A. So I got a whole lot of inspiration oh, to okay. really rap. Nice. You know? I got nice. a lot of inspiration. Yeah. And <laughs> there was this one girl. I can now I'm thinking about how I came to Christ. Yeah, man, I want to hear so that. So there was this one girl <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I had crazy crush on. Hey, you had a crush on the girl, okay? Yeah, okay. I had a crush on this girl. Okay. So, but this girl was like, so I, I wanted a way of just chilling with this girl. Uh-huh. But this girl was always denying me the, the opportunity to chill with her. Snap, man. So one day I was like, I just want to do something extraordinary to get this girl's attention. Okay. Snap. And and asked her what can i do to be in love with you it's like there's only one condition and it's like which is it's like coming to su scripture unit scripture union. yeah it was like okay okay she said a statement a very, very profound statement she said if you want me you have to take me with my christ okay <laughs> okay okay so so when you heard that were you like ah, easy money or do you are like I'm, i can pretend or i don't know what is going on through your mind i was like i can pretend okay but i was like i i know my weakness when it comes to god yeah. you know mm. i <clears throat> i i had to make a plan so i then told some of my guys Mm-hmm. And then we we were high on weed. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so and we went to SU. So you smoked a bunch of weed. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is during break class. It was during. It was before. By the way, there was a session before school start. Yeah, before school started. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. So, so you were high in the money. Yeah, in the money okay. before we went to school. Okay. Because before we went to school, we'd meet around one nine. Uh-huh. Like when school was starting around 12 yeah but we would be we would meet around nine yeah then get so, high yeah th- then from there we went to su okay yeah so we went to su i was high then but then when i got there she was preaching the message of just christ brah yeah. just christ the resurrection but it was very very powerful yeah. it was like I've had the gospel the whole of my life. Yeah. Uh, I've had gospel songs. Yeah. I grew up in a family that was pushing me to go to church. Yeah. There used to be Bible studies at my house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. snap. That was crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. There used to be Bible studies. You never told Bible me studies. that. Yeah, yeah. There used to be Bible studies at my house. Yeah. But I didn't have a, a personal relationship with God. Yeah. You know, yeah. I wasn't experiencing jesus christ from within yeah you know i was experiencing jesus christ from my family's experience yeah yeah yeah, yeah you I know yeah. so it's, it's different yeah there's a personal relation mm. and there's a family relation yeah so that was a family relation 
So okay. um, that's when now there so she she sharing yeah, she sharing she's this sharing, thing yeah she's sharing about Christ yeah <clears throat> and all that and and you know I sobered up mm-hmm. bra mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I remember she sobered up meaning you are high then all I of a sudden I was high all of a sudden like cause cause I paid attention yeah yeah so. The more I paid attention, it's like the guy, the other guys that I came with, they got bored. Yeah. And they're like, hey, well, bro, no, we're leaving. We so they left. They, they okay. left. Okay, cool. So I remained there. Yeah. I remained. And she asked, she gave us an opportunity. She was like, who would like to give their lives this, to Christ? This is the same girl from. This is the, the same girl that I wanted to ask out. Yeah. That I've been asking Did out. Did she see you then say, okay, I'm a. I'm a or you don't know what happened you know i think she was more like an evangelist okay. you know she just had you. that yeah I got she, you. I got you. yeah i think she was just doing god's work okay uh, all right you know, okay i think so, there so was no strings attached okay, it so wasn't like no i god i'm 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 changing him for myself okay. type of thing. you know i i don't think she had cool then what was your response like she says who else to give you know it? brah i came before the altar call mm-hmm and the salvation prayer i said the salvation prayer i was okay. with a couple of guys uh-huh. you know i said the, uh, the salvation prayer by the way by then uh, the su was really powerful back then yeah it was really powerful yeah so we came before the the thing yeah and we i gave my life to christ okay and when i left su, SU yeah. it's crazy because Whenever I tell people of this experience, it's like I'm exaggerating. Yeah. It's like I I saw things in a different color. Yeah. You know? Like HD. like HD. Like, okay. it's crazy that sometimes I used to see things, they were like blurry, but the colors were now like intact, like they were so bright. Sure. You know? Yeah. So it's like I was seeing just a different, different thing. You know, it's like I was living in a different world. Yeah. I started taking the God thing serious. Mm. I started developing a personal relationship with God. Yeah. I started reading books. Sure. You know, started reading books. Started reading the Bible. Yeah. So now I was facing a whole lot of stigma. <laughs> what, what what's happening now? now now there's a change yeah you got you got yeah. your crew they're <laughs> like let's go steal or let's do this let's go with the, yeah. yeah let's get high this morning and mm. you don't want to go or do you, are you still going a little bit it's crazy mm. it's crazy like i think that was like a change at a twinkle of an eye mm-hmm. i didn't struggle yeah. like it wasn't like yo let me it wasn't like I'm struggling with smoking, bro. Mm. I'm I'm struggling with drinking. Mm. I wanna go through this phase of rehabilitation so that I can quit smoking thing. Mm. How do I do what do I do to quit smoking? What do I do to stop drinking? Mm. It's like I cut ties. Like like that. I cut ties. How many people are gonna say you're lying? A whole lot of people <laughs> are gonna say I'm lying. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's like they, cap, yeah, man. yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it was like a a drastic change, just like that. Sure, and man. And oh. there was a lot of stigma. Yeah, there was a lot of discrimination. Yeah, you know. And now my uncle became proud. Yeah, my granny became proud because. What, what did you tell them? I've stopped. What did you, did you go just, to them, or you just I your just, life just started changing? My life started them? changing. Uh-huh. You know, I think my granny started liking me more because now I used to tag along with her to church. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, cool, by, cool, cool. By then she was part of a church plant. Yeah. That was in Log Six. It moved to more time. And sure. Okay. And you know, she she was proud of the young boy I was becoming. Sure. Okay. You know, so I was I was involved in church. I was saving. Yeah. You know, I was saving, and just my life. And was things just were not going missing now. 
No, ah, uh, this is no movie we see. Ah, the boy was, ah, uh, the boy was good now. The so, boy was good. So, now when you need something, what was coming up on your mind? Were you like asking? Uh, you? I would ask, bro. Yeah. I would ask. Were they, were they people that still didn't trust you or felt like you're faking or maybe you're playing? You mean around? Around, maybe even with the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. I still, I think they're still there. Even, That's now. even up to now. Yeah, they look like, ah, and bro. it's not, it's not for me to prove anything yeah. you know it's yeah. it's it's part of life yeah i, I wouldn't say it's a, a a rite of passage but it's just uh, just part of life yeah. you know you so know. I'm, I'm skipping i'm skipping ahead but i'm gonna just share that mm. so now your school's ending you're excited about god you're reading the bible and now you as you're ending school you start hearing about these rappers coming the 116 guys are coming whatnot and you listen into Yarn FM, and these guys are on. They're called Excalibur. They're just on Yarn FM. Da 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 da. And you're listening in, and then you get on their Facebook page, and you're talking to these guys like, "Yo, Excalibur." Da 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 da. So we meet because we're in love with hip hop, and we also got this faith thing that we are we are, we link we link together to because right. Mm. I just wanna stop it like stop it there and sh- i want to hear your side of the story i'll share my side of the story so yeah first time you actually meet us or you hear about excalibur what happens because uh you the way i'm saying this this way is you are not like a founding member but you came on board during our run our early run but yeah yeah just just share just share with people it's crazy and there was a time I was heavy on Yaron FM. Big shout out to, to Yaron FM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out. Even though they didn't play our music. Yeah, no. even, though they, <laughs> even though they never played our music, music. man. <laughs> but we only got the Trevor <laughs> spot, but yeah, yeah, big shout out. <laughs> and DJ Kels spot, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> big shout out to DJ Kels. Yeah. Um, I was heavy on Yaron FM because I was a big fan of Drama Boy, a big fan of of rap. Yeah, yeah. So I'll go and stuff, you know. And I was I was on my late teens. Yeah. My late teens. Yeah. Then. So um, I was listening to Yarn FM one day and I heard that these guys are coming to Botswana. The one one six guys. Mm-hmm. And I had this group Excalibur, Excalibur guys and all that. And then I went to the show. Mm. in block six yeah, the yeah. learning center yeah, yeah. Epic. epic epic you know show. yeah it was crazy in fact first i went to um, the Sibili the Sibili. where they were signing and exactly, everything exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so so i saw these guys most of them they, all these guys i just felt like they're just superstars even the excalibur guys i remember seeing guys like bobo and all that yeah so those are guys who were just at the forefront of the movement. They were just running, bro. Yeah. And I went to the show. It was a crazy experience for me. Yeah. I think there was a seed that was planted in me, man. Mm. It was mm. like, you know what? I'm sold out. Mm. I'm stopping to write anything that have nothing to do with God. Sure. You know, I was like, you know what? I've given my life to Christ. My lyrics have to reflect him yeah my lyrics have to be about him my lyrics have to bring people or his people closer to him cool man. that's how you know uh, uh, that's how my life changed mm. was, so and i was inspired i was inspired seeing this excalibur guys rapping in motswako bra big shout out to ob mr malcolm you know i was like yo these guys are crazy yeah so i think afterwards i i checked out the guys in fact the first guy i think i i sent the message to was mr malcolm yeah yo bra um thank you bra what you guys did was very very inspirational yeah. what 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 what, what. Yeah. and then i think it was you and then ob but later on i then sent to the group yeah you know i think i just just said a, a huge shout out yeah. and all that. Yeah. And afterwards, I think 
you put me under your wing, bra. Yeah. Yeah, I think from from yeah, I think from I I, I remember the fe- my first encounter with you. Yeah. You took me to your farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You took me to your farm there. Yeah. You're still farming by yeah, in which yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember, you took me that side and was helping you with some stuff, yeah. and we're just chopping it down when we're there, bro. We're just yeah. chopping it down, yeah. chopping it down, yeah. just talking about God, just ministry, farming, and stuff, and music, yeah, and all that. And you used to invite me to your house, give me some. Sermons, sermons and yeah. music, Esso. I think that's yeah. why I fell in love with Esso because I was like, okay, guys were big on the 116 guys, yeah. But for me, mm. Esso's story was too personal, mm, yeah, because yeah. I felt like yeah. I resonated more with Esso, sure, yeah. so I felt like he was speaking to me, you yeah. know. Yeah. So I think for you, it was strategic, it's like you were discipling me or mentoring me for yeah. the Excalibur spot indirectly. <laughs> so it used to put me on. <clears throat> let, I remember, yeah. Let me, let me share yeah. my side. Yeah, yeah. Let me share my side. It wasn't strategic. Yeah. I genuinely, um, so basically, obviously I knew the, the, you were going by a Christian boy at that time. So yeah. it was just one word, Christian boy. boy yeah. So, um, I knew that the name of, of Facebook because you used to hit up and interact a lot and, and share and, and, and tag us on a lot of stuff. Yeah. Then the first time when, because I was also a founding member of, 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 of Unashamed. So when we hooked up, we did a, a show at first that 116 seconds, what, yeah. what, 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 and you're supposed to, you were about to rap. You came in and <laughs> then... You spit about three, four oh, bars, bars, yeah, <laughs> and then you got stuck. You fumbled, but people were loving, and then you, you had to go out stage <laughs> and stuff. Right. Then, um, you we did another show. I think a few months later, then you came in again. Yeah, you you went further this time. I think you went about six, seven, eight bars and got stuck again. Yeah, yeah. but everybody was clapping and. That, Kind of now that became a thing like, hey, this guy, we're not sure. Hey, she yeah. might get stuck or not. So there are other guys who were doing like really dope. Or when, yeah. And other guys I would reach out to. But a lot of people didn't want to, you know, a lot of people just want the prize. Yeah. A lot of people just like, even during that time, because what we were doing, what we were doing, a lot of people would just hit up, can I join? Yeah. Can I be a part of you? Can I da 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 and I would say, oh, oh, let's link up. Let's sit down. Let's talk. You know, yeah. a lot of people didn't want to sit down, didn't want to talk. They just wanted, am I joining or what? I, I was remembering this morning, like, it's a crazy story. I'll get back to that one. But uh, yeah. Zeus once called me. So here's the funny thing about Zeus. Zeus hardly calls anyone. Yeah. <laughs> He's very introverted. He's very to himself. But, but, but Zeus called me, and he had a guy that reached out to him. So this guy had a little like, he's, he's he was a lot of faith in his rap. So Zeus was just like, you know what? At the stage where this rapper is, I feel like you can re- help him guide him a lot better than I can. Yeah. So that was Zeus. <clears throat> so that guy, uh, it seemed like he reached out to Zeus yeah. and said, "Hey, listen, be guy. Da 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 da. I want to move forward. Can you give me the opportunities I need to move forward?" Yeah. Then Zeus said, "No, nah, I think I know a guy who can just kind of give you some some." some um just some handles on how to move forward and yeah so we spent about three four five minutes on the phone him talking about this guy and and breaking down wow. what he would need and stuff Big shout out you, to Zeus. Yeah, yeah you can you can tell that zeus was really interested in this guy moving forward, forward yeah. but that guy never called me he never reached out he never did anything because i'm thinking in his mind he must have been like i reached out to zeus Zeus ditched me and gave me some nobody guy <laughs> from nowhere. The guy, he, the underground guy. Yeah, he gave me some underground <laughs> guy, guy from nowhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. Zeus was trying to say, hey man, you need some shaping. This is the next guy. Because yeah. imagine if he came through three months, four months later, he's learning his craft. I say, hey Zeus, this guy's better than what he was. He's kind of got his thing here. Take him back. Zeus would have connected him to the SA and all the other people he needed connections for. But the guy just thought, ah, it's okay. I feel like 
I feel like this guy just oh and yeah. and most guys do that. Most guys re, right. most no. guys want True. just the prize. They don't want to go through the whole thing. Yeah. That that was not a no from Zeus. Yeah. That was a yo. This is your, your next step. Stewardship. Hey. Be faithful with the little. Be so faithful with the little. Yeah. Things, yeah. That was it. That didn't want to do the Mr. Miyagi thing. He just wanted yeah. to do the kicks. So yeah, man. <laughs> so yeah, same thing like with you. It wasn't about you joining. I wasn't looking for another member. I I just got I just got in and I realized, yo, six is a lot of guys, you know. Yeah. But you know, then I was just like, yo, let me let me talk to this guy. Let me walk with this guy. Then after some time, I started realizing, you know what? I I realized this guy is listening, and he's changing and he's growing, and I want to help him more. The best way I can help this guy. Is if he is a part of the team, that's the best way I can help him. That's how I. That's how I thought, and it did not come without pushback. I don't know if you know. You know. You know this. No, I know. Huh? I know. I know. Yeah, <laughs> because the guys who started pulling me to the side and going, "Yo, man, I don't. I, I see what you're doing. I don't, I don't. I'm hoping you're not trying to put this guy in the team because this guy be choking. Yeah. Yeah. This guy's not yet there. Don't try. Don't try. Sure. So there was a, there are people that. Put that were like no, don't put this guy on the team because he's gonna choke. You're gonna do this, and then do that. Then 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 yeah. But there's a point in which I just started going. You know what? I'm starting to respect character more than I'm respecting gifting. And if you have the right character, you can work hard and take your 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 gifting. You can shape. And develop your gifting a lot further, and that's why that's why I was like, you know what, I I need I need some good characters around me, you know. So yeah, I think even like 